What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. You know, you got your boy here, Famous Chris, and it's been a minute since I dropped any type of like military related videos. But, you know, you know, that's because I've been really busy doing a lot of stuff, but I'm just giving y'all like a little update on what I've been doing, also talking to y'all. Pretty much, I'm gonna talk about in this video, you know what I'm saying, like what life looks like when you're in the military, what life looks like when you're past all the boot camp stuff, past all, you know, like when you're actually at your first duty station, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they don't think they'll have time for their family, or they don't think they'll have time for their husband or the wives or whatever. So, you know, I'm just letting you guys know that it's possible that you could live a normal life once you're in the military. And I'm just going to talk to y'all like about like, you know, what all goes on and what, you know, I currently do. And, you know, if you're just thinking about joining the military, but you don't want to be like away from people or like away from your husband, away from your wife or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to, you know, reassure you that you can still be with them, you know? Anyway, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, y'all miss me, cause hey, I will miss me too. But hopefully, you know, y'all like the video, enjoy the video, and let's get started with the video. All right, so pretty much I'm gonna be talking about, you know, what it's like to live a military life, you know, from my perspective and, you know, just all that stuff. So, you know, let's say you, you know, the person watching this are interested in joining the military, you know, and then you, you know, you just kind of started your research and you thinking about doing it. You don't know if you should do it or not. One thing I should tell everybody that if you're thinking about doing it, then you should do it because if you don't, if you don't want to join, you would, it would even be on your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if you have that thought that, hey, maybe I could low-key do this, you know, I believe in you, you know, I'll be your number one supporter and then everybody else. But I'm the person to tell you that I think you should really, you know, actually take that leap of faith, you know? And all right, so, so like I said, you're watching this video because you're thinking about joining and you're just wondering what life will be like. And if I'm like, you know, going on and on, oh my bad, I ain't got no script or nothing, you know, I'm just freestyling my videos. Okay, so you're thinking about joining, the first thing you want to do is figure out what branch you want to join, you know. You got like Army, the Marines, the Navy, the Coast Guard, the Air Force, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you, you know, each branch has their own thing that they're really good at. But let's say you decide to join the Air Force, right? So you pick the Air Force like me. You talk to a local recruiter, just go on Google and just type in like Air Force Recruiting Center and then just go there. You'll talk to him. First thing he'll want you to do is get you scheduled to take the ASVAB test. So when you take the ASVAB test, I mean, obviously you want to do some studying, you know, for the test too. You don't just want to wing it because if you try to wing it, I mean, you might still do good, but a lot of times you might not, you know, get the score you want to do, you know. But first, um, figure out like what job, you know, what interests you. You know, you could check that out on the websites or all type of um, websites will show the jobs we have for the Air Force, but figure out what job you want and then see what score you need to get to have that job. So after you study and take that test or whatnot, he gonna be like, all right, okay, you scored this. And here's all the jobs you could pick between with that score that you got. So let's say you like, all right, I wanna be a low master, for example and you got the right score for a low master, then after you pick your job, you need to go to MEPS. So MEPS is pretty much gonna decide if you can actually be in the Air Force. It's just like a test to make sure that you're in good shape, you know? If you're a female, one of the main things that can disqualify you in MEPS is if you're pregnant, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not 100% sure, but I know if, you, if you're pregnant, then they're gonna disqualify you. But you know, as for the guys, you just gotta make sure you're in shape, you know what I'm saying? They're just like, do all the little small tests and everything. They're gonna do like a blood test and everything. They pretty much, it's every test in the world, drug test, all that too. So if you're thinking about joining and you currently smoke weed, go ahead and you know stop right now and get out your system and then go up there. The last thing you wanna do is go up there and then you know embarrass yourself because you know they found out that you do that. But um, anyway, so you took the test, got your score, found your job, and you passed you know, the MEPS thing, right? So next thing they're gonna do is they're gonna have you go for a shipping date. So now you're just getting ready, saying goodbye to everybody, you know, and now you're off to boot camp. When you go to boot camp, that might be the hardest thing that you ever done in your life. And I ain't gonna lie, it definitely was the hardest, you know, mental, not physical thing, cause I was already kind of in shape, but like mentally, you know, just being in that environment, that's gonna be tough for everybody, especially if you're not used to that. But once you get past the boot camp thing, now you gotta go from, you gotta go to tech school. So let's say like you pick low master, so now you're gonna go to school to learn how to be a low master. And everybody's school is different. Like 
for example, I'm gonna get, um, I'm not for sure. Like, let's say your school is in um, Mississippi, right? And then I did security forces. So my school was actually still in Lackland. So after you graduate boot camp, I thought you were gonna be able to go home for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I was already ready to just chill and see my peoples and all that. Wrong. So pretty much, I had to stay in Lackland. So like. All the people that have, you know, tech schools, they go to wherever they be. Like some people might have their school in Cali, some people might have their school in Florida. So pretty much you're going to go to school for your actual job. So they're going to teach you how to be whatever, you, you know, you picked in your job. Once you do that, then you all um, get to be in your actual duty station. I got Nellis Air Force Base in Vegas, so, you know, I get to be here. So after I did my um, tech school in Latin, I came here. And I promise you, once you're in, you know what I'm saying? The actual thing is just like a nine to five. Like you do your job and then you go home. You might have the weekends off or whatever, depending on what your schedule is. And then you just go home. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry that we do this pretty fast. I kind of just try to break it down pretty much. But everything, you know, you do outside the military is completely up to you. It's not like you in um, tech school and you got like handcuffs around. Cause don't do nothing stupid, you know what I'm saying? If you go to jail, the number one thing they tell me is establish dominance quick. But you, you don't want to go to jail because, you know, the security forces, one thing that we do is, you know, we, you know, we call the jails and we ask them, hey, uh, is there any military people in their jail? And, if, you know, if they find out that it's you, hey, I don't know what's going to happen, but something will happen. But like I said, for me, once you uh, finish your little, you know, nine to five job and you just do whatever you want, you know, if you first, you know, let's say you're not married and you start off in the dorms and whatnot too. But if you are married, as soon as you um, graduate tech school and boot camp, and then, you know, your uh, spouse gets to come with you wherever you're at, you know, you get them on your orders and then you can get a house on base or whatnot, or you can get a house off base too. And they will pay you a good amount to live off base too. Or you could decide to get a house on base and, you know, you pretty much don't gotta pay for nothing. You ain't gotta worry about that. You still get your check, but you don't get the extra money you would if you live off base. And what else am I missing to talk about? But like I said, I do my job, you know? My job is uh, security force, obviously. I work Tuesday through Friday. I might have a training day on Monday. Like tomorrow I got a training day, depending on what time you watch the video, but it's Sunday right now. So tomorrow I got my training day. And then after that, I'm working straight, you know, Tuesday through Friday. But on the weekends, I do my own thing or whatnot. I, uh, I mean, I know a lot. I do a lot of like, I work out. That's probably one of the biggest things. So a lot of times in my free time, I'm doing something that's like involved in like, you know, working out or whatnot too. And obviously I like to do YouTube whenever I can and I be playing 2K and just be chilling and stuff like that and everything. And I got my wife with me and then she, she got a job in base by the way too. So a lot of y'all who, you know, if you know you're worried about your wife not finding work or your husband not finding work they could work on the same base too so yeah she she works on base and she likes it too and she's obviously here with me at first she wasn't here with me i was in the dorm and stuff like that but now she is and we just turned in our house and everything but it's pretty much like a normal life like i'm telling you y'all might hate boot camp and tech school i'm not gonna lie to you but tech school is kind of fun but y'all might hate boot camp you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're not used to people yelling at you, telling you what to do, waking up at a certain time, it might be awful. But once you get past all that, and you actually just, you know, on your you know, base and just on your duty station doing your regular job, you're gonna be like, bro, this is easy. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, the years and the days start flying by and everything, and you start re-enlisting if you want to, too. Cause I know a lot of my friends that, um, they all was like, oh, I'm not gonna re-enlist or whatever. And the next thing you know, they was like, this job ain't that bad. And they signed up for an extra four years and whatnot too. So I'm telling you, it's, it's pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's, you know, we just get in the Call of Duty campaign this shit all the time, just always fighting. And for a lot of people that are worried about deployments, I have not been deployed, so I can't really tell you like experience on that. But you know, when you obviously are deployed, you're gone for six months or whatnot and yeah so you just be gone for six months and let's say you sign a four-year contract you might only get deployed once you know but i know some people that have been here for five years and never been deployed so it's kind of all random but yeah man that's pretty much it this pretty much video is done with you know what i'm saying i feel like i kind of talked y'all here off i appreciate y'all y'all for clicking on my video you know what i'm saying but 
if y'all want to know like you know what i've been up to i can make a video talking about that but this video right here is just to let everybody know that you can still have a normal life and be in the military you know because me and my girl we go out all the time we go i don't go to the casino that much anymore because i'm all now that the nba season start i just bet you know on the, you know all that nba apps or whatnot too but if you in vegas man you can go to the casino you can go to the club with parties and all that too you can do all that on the weekends have a normal life drive to cali do whatever and then just come back to work you know whenever you know you're, not, you're off or whatever but that concludes my video hopefully y'all enjoyed this quick little probably 10 minute video but um yeah, man, I just want to say that I appreciate all you guys who've been, you know, rocking with my channel. And I try to answer as much questions as I can. But sometimes I be a little busy, so I kind of answer a couple, you know, it'll be later. But that's pretty much it, y'all. I will talk to y'all in my next video. Or if you have any questions about the military, feel free to comment under this video and let me know what you're feeling. And, you know, I'll try my hardest to answer. Or I'll find somebody like my flight chief or like my sergeants that can answer it for you know for me and i'll get back to y'all as soon as i can but until then hey one more thing too like i said if you're thinking about joining the military you clicked on this video i think you should join you know i really think you should because like i said when i wasn't thinking about the military i was not taking in no military videos on youtube but when i was like 85 percent sure i wanted to do it i will always click on you know military youtubers and all that stuff and just see how they feel about it and see if they like like it or they just depress you know but man i'm not depressed i'm still here currently still alive you know i'm not hurt or anything too the military you know what i'm saying it builds character it'll make you stronger it'll make you really feel like you you know what i'm saying like proud of the work you did and how far you came and you know yeah, i'll be there at the finish line you know when y'all graduate boot camp but let me know if you have decided you're going to join or not or what your job is going to be like. And I'll talk to you in my next video.